Uh, hello, I am Sabine Rahimova, chemistry lecturer, and our students Basti Alamaleva and Shefek Aslanova. Today we are going to demonstrate a magic beakers experiment, which is related with complex compounds, acids and bases, transition metal chemistry, and the evidences of chemical reactions. Um, to, uh, Basti will uh, demonstrate us. Firstly, we will take water, uh, add to the first beaker. Even if we have sodium hydroxide in the beaker, uh, we don't have any color in the solution. Uh, in the next beaker, when we add solution to the second beaker, we will have pink color solution. What is the reason of this color? We have phenolphthalein in the second beaker. And uh, phenolphthalein and sodium hydroxide gives pink color. Uh, when we pour the solution to the third beaker, uh, we will get colorless solution. Uh, what is the reason of this uh, color? Uh, because um, sodium hydroxide will react with uh, sulfuric acid and uh, result will be salt and water. Uh, in the um, neutral solution, phenolphthalein cannot give pink color. Uh, when we pour this solution to the uh, fourth beaker, again we will have pink solution. Uh, why this is uh, this color here is happened? Because of potassium manganate salt. Uh, when we pour this solution to the fifth beaker, we will get again colorless solution because of ferrosulfate have the hydrate uh, and manganese uh, uh, reduced from 7 to 2. In the sixth beaker we have potassium thiocyanate that's why we get orange color and we get orange color and uh, potassium uh, uh, oxidized from 2 plus to 3 plus ion. Uh, in the se seventh beaker, we have uh, potassium fer ferric cyanate uh, and we get blue color solution. Now let's see how did we prepare these solutions. First, we will talk about their calculations and preparations. Now let's come to calculation part. To prepare a solution, first we need to calculate mass of solutes. Then we need to calculate uh, to prepare the solutions. Uh, in the first speaker, we had sodium hydroxide solution, 20 drops of 0.4 molar sodium hydroxide. Uh, how can we prepare this solution? Firstly, um, we should think that uh, volume of uh, solution is 20 milliliter. Uh, concentration is 0.4 molar. In this case, let's calculate mass of solution, uh, mass of sol uh, solute. Uh, mass equals to 20 times 10 to the power minus 3 liter times 0.4 molar times 20 gram per mole. And the result is 0.32 grams sodium hydroxide. We will weight 0.32 grams sodium hydroxide by the balance and uh, add it to the graduated cylinder, uh, dilute to the 20 milliliter by water. In second beaker, uh, we have two, 10 drops of phenolphthalein solution. Uh, in the third beaker, uh, 15 drops 1 molar sulfuric acid. Uh, if volume is 20 milliliter, let's calculate mass of sulfuric acid. Mass equals to 20 times 10 to the power minus liter times 1 molar times uh, 98 grams per mole. And result is 2 gram. We will take a uh, graduated cylinder, add 2 grams uh, sulfuric acid to it and dilute it to 20 milliliter. Uh, in the fourth speaker, we will add just spatula tip of potassium permanganate solid. We don't need solution, okay? Uh, in the uh, fifth speaker, we should add 40 drops uh, 1 molar potassium sulfate, uh, iron sulfate uh, heptahydrate. Uh, and uh, 
Let's calculate mass of uh, ferrous sulfate heptahydrate salt. Uh, mass equals to 20 times 10 to the power minus 3 liter times uh, 278 gram per mole and times 1 mole. Result is 5.56 gram. Uh, generally, uh, we will take this mass of salt, uh, add it to the graduate cylinder and dilute to the 20 milliliter by water. In the 6 um, Beaker, uh, we should add 15 drops, 10% potassium uh, cyanocyanate. How can we prepare 10% solution? This is weight per volume solution. 10% uh, equals to x grams times 100% divided by 20 milliliter. Uh, weight per volume uh, percentages, in these percentages, uh, in the denominator we should write mass of solute. Uh, in grams. In the denominator, we should write uh, volume of solution in milliliter. Uh, by this calculation, x equals to 2 gram. We will take 2 gram potassium cyanate, add it to the graduate cylinder and dilute to the 20 milliliter by water. In the last uh, seventh beaker, we should add uh, 10 drops, 2 percent, uh, potassium ferrous cyanide, uh, again, this is weight per volume percentage. 2 percent equals to y gram divided by 20 milliliter times 10, uh, 100 percent. Y equals to 0 0.4 gram. Uh, we take 0 0.4 gram potassium ferrous cyanide, uh, add it to the graduate cylinder and dilute to the, dilute to the 20 milliliter. Uh, that's the end of calculation. Uh, as you see, uh, we should prepare uh, solutions from liquid solvents and solid solvents. Let's, come, uh, let's see how can we prepare solution from sulfuric acid. Uh, this is liquid. Uh, first of all, we will take one beaker, uh, put it on the balance and zero the balance. Then we will take uh, sulfuric acid, concentrated sulfuric acid uh, by pipette and Add to the beaker. Uh, we need two grams of sulfuric acid, and we will take two grams of sulfuric acid. Uh, add to the graduated cylinder, and dilute to the 20 milliliter because the volume of our solution is 20 milliliter. Okay. Yes, we need two grams of. Okay, that's two grams. As you know, uh, we cannot add uh, water into acid. That's why, firstly, we will add some amount of distilled water to the graduated cylinder. Then we will add, we will add uh, sulfuric acid to the graduated cylinder. After all, we will add some water to the uh, beaker and add to the graduated cylinder. Okay, and we mix thoroughly to get um, well-mixed solution. Then we should add some amount of distilled water to the beaker uh, to prevent the, uh, uh, some amount of uh, solution in the uh, some amount of sulfuric acid in the beaker. Let's dilute the solution to the 20 milliliter. And that's the our solution, 20 milliliter, one molar sulfuric acid, which is, for, for we produce it from two grams sulfuric acid. Now let's uh, prepare a solution from solid solute, uh, which is uh, potassium cyanide, one of the solid solutes. Um, all the solid uh, solutions are prepared like this. First of all, uh, we will take the watch glass, uh, put it on the balance and zero the balance. 
uh, phi v0 the balance, we need to reject the mass of uh, watch glass. Then we should add 2 grams of uh, potassium cyanide to the watch glass. Okay. And we should prepare 10% um, potassium cyanide solution and general volume of the solution is 20 milliliter. Okay. When we take 2 grams of potassium cyanide, we add uh, salt into the beaker. Okay. Then we need water to prepare, distilled water to prepare the solution. We will use a glass rod to stir the solution. Firstly, we add uh, some amount of water uh, and mix the solution and dilute the solution to 20 milliliter. And that is the 10% potassium cyanide solution. And now by this reaction we have learned the effect of phenolphthalein as indicated uh, in alkaline and acidic solutions which in alkaline solution it gives pink color, acidic solution it is colorless. Then uh, from transition metals uh, manganese and iron uh, oxid oxidation states changed. Uh, manganese reduced from manganese 7 to manganese 2. Uh, in this case uh, solution becomes uh, turns from pink to colorless and iron uh, oxidation state uh, changed from 2 plus to 3 plus which is uh, become orange solution uh, in the at the end uh, and also uh, these color changes are the evidences of chemical reactions uh, at the end, we get a complex compound of uh, potassium. And uh, that's the end. Thank you for watching.